Hi, I'm David Tracy and welcome to my garage. This here is a $600 Beater Jeep Cherokee that I bought off of Craigslist with the intention to drive 1,600 miles to Moab, Utah for the 50th Easter Jeep Safari. Now, I've owned the Jeep for about six months, but I didn't really get started wrenching until a couple of weeks ago. I've been slacking. But thanks to a couple of readers, I've actually been able to make quite a bit of progress. How much progress? Well, take a look. The most obvious change is the new lift kit. The front was fairly simple. We just pulled out the old springs, shoved in some new stiffer springs. We got about three and a half inches up front. The back wasn't too bad either. We got some cheap Chevrolet S10 pickup truck springs off of Craigslist, cut the main eyes off, and bolted it underneath the main leafs under the Cherokee. As for shocks, we did some slight modifications to Jeep Wrangler sport shocks. Car rides very well, except there's some serious vibrations going on because the lift kit caused the U-joint angle to be too steep and caused it to bind. So to fix that, we dropped the cross member, which is bolted to the transfer case. And unfortunately, we ended up breaking one of the four bolts and we had to spend hours trying to drill that damn bolt out. To prevent breaking the other three bolts, we ended up pulling up the carpets in looking at the rustiest floorboards in the history of human existence. We pulled up those crusty floorboards to get access to the inside of the unibody rail so that we could hit them with lubricant and heat so we could back out those bolts. It is a rusty mess in there. It is is horrible. We also redid the brakes all the way around. We have new brake hoses, we've got new brake lines, new brake pads, new shoes, new drums in the back. Speaking of brakes, in case the Jeep brakes, we've got some spare axle shafts that we pulled out of some Craigslist axles we found. So that's good. We've also replaced the air filter, the fuel filter. We've gotten quite a bit done, but we've only got nine days and I've still got to do the entire cooling system. I've got to bolt up the skid plates, replace the transfer case chain, then I've got to do ball joints, U-joints, and a wheel hub in the front. Plus, I gotta figure out my, why my low beams don't work. So there's plenty of work to do, not a lot of time. Wish us luck. <laughs>